Ladies, what are two deal breaker characteristics in a man? We'll start with you. We'll go around the table. Go ahead. Two deal breakers. A man. That one sounds a hard one. I feel like I need. Does anyone have one that's like at the top of their head? What about you? Um, a deal breaker. Two, two deal breakers. Two. If you can. Um, I would say like disrespect, just undermining. Okay, Disres- being disrespectful. Yeah, just disrespectful, Anything and else? um, maybe. Yeah, just disrespectful to not only myself but people around them. That's something that I don't like and then um maybe just not being loyal i think everybody should be loyal i would say for me um it would have to be uh someone who respects and serves god above themselves um yo sky thank you for the gift and 20 memberships uh so these are deal breakers (laughs) Yeah, if they like, if they don't do that, um, okay, like, if they if, don't, yeah, okay. if they don't, if they don't respect God above themselves and serve God above themselves, because then I can't trust them to be loyal to okay. the family or me. Sure. Um, Thank you, and Scott. then I would say if they're not, um, if they're not like a genuinely kind, just person. Okay. Yeah. Any Renee? Any anything come to mind? If they have no passions in life, no passions. Like they just want to work a desk job or something. Um, so they they need to be ambitious. Yeah. Okay. Or just like to have something that you like, like doing besides making money. What about yeah. video games? What if they're passionate about video games? <laughs> uh, at least they're passionate about something, you know. Okay, I, I meant more like career-wise. Like they're passionate, passionate about, about a certain career path. Huh, yeah. Okay. Was there another one? Another deal? Um, if they can't dress. They can't dress. <laughs> what do you mean? Like no style? Yeah. Or? I mean, I guess I could I could fix that. Uh, that one's like more of a joke. Um, I don't know if they're. Okay. Uh, you need like a super if stylish. They're disloyal. I I don't know. It's okay. it's all like kind of the same. Yeah. Um, I think a deal breaker for me would be if he's like a mama's boy. Um, I don't really like like whenever their mom like if they're like super mama's boy and like kind of like acting feminine. I feel like. Okay. And then also if they watch like adult content or anything like that. Any. Okay. It's a deal breaker if they watch porn. Yeah. Okay. Did, did, Go don't ahead. you do Ask porn? She used to. No, right? I did it for two months back in 2022, and I haven't done it in like since then. So. Is that what informed that deal breaker? Huh? Is that what informs the deal breaker? Sorry, what do you mean? Like, is it because you did that that you see that now no, is like a huge... I, I think even before that, I had a before I even started that, I was in a relationship with this one guy, and... Uh, it kind of started then, so way before all that, and I, I like knew that he would watch it, and it would make me really upset. So. Oh. Wait, even while you were. No, in that the was district? way before that. Yeah. Well, but what do you think is a bigger deal breaker? A guy who watches porn, or somebody who used to do porn? I don't know. It just depends on who the guy is, because some people have like moved on completely from their lives and erased that completely, and like you know rebuilt themselves so it, well the it, internet's forever though right yeah but i mean i mean i already dated a porn star so uh i kind of know what that's like um so i mean well i'm not really framing the question from your point of view in terms of is it a deal breaker for you to date a porn star or an mm-hmm. ex porn star i'm saying do you think it's a bigger deal breaker or red flag perhaps uh, for for from the guy's perspective, to date someone who used to do porn versus from the girl perspective, to date somebody who currently consumes porn? Um, I probably would say, like, if you're still actively watching it and it's, like, still a habit and a part of your life, I would say that's probably worse than if you did Let's say he, if the, you the did consumption it. is just average. What is average to you? Once a week. Once or twice a week. No. I, uh, like, I don't... No, no what? No porn. Like, I just don't want... No, 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 no. But what's the bigger deal breaker? Com- I, I like, if I you were to compare the two. Or let's try... It the, just, like I said, it just kind of depends. Like, I don't... Well, let's I don't try know. to frame it a different way, maybe. Go ahead. Let's assume, if you were thinking, if you had to give an answer on a man's dating preference, mm-hmm. and you asked him, would you rather have a woman who consumed porn once a I week or once every other week versus one who used to star in porn, which would you rather have? What do you think he'd say? I think he'd probably go after the girl who wants to. 
just watches it. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think the de- delineation is? Is it informed again by the fact that you used to do it, and so you, you're just kind of hoping that that's the case? No, I just that's like a boundary I have. That's all. Yeah, yeah. But is it informed by the fact that you used to do it? No, but like I said, it started way before that in my first relationship with okay. my first boyfriend. So it kind of started then. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did I get an answer to my question though? Which no, was... you still did I'm sorry, not. I'm really I tried... nervous. The reason I framed <laughs> that up though was was so if we turn this around kind of show why would your standard be so much different than what their standard yeah but my point of view is just different from everyone's here because no one's done porn so um that's just right so then it informs your standard that's my whole point (laughs) i guess so yeah okay i guess the reason i'm asking is because i don't know if there's a specific term for this you're not really coming to the table i don't know if clean hands is the right term but you're not like you used to do porn right Mm mm-hmm So I feel like if you're coming to the table with certain potential deal breakers or red flags or baggage, doesn't it mean, well, I guess you can desire anything in a partner, but doesn't it, it would occur to me that you have to give a little leeway to the potential partners that you're capable of getting. I guess so. So you're just saying like, let my boyfriend watch porn or? Well, you're entitled to have that preference. (laughs) That's that's not what he's saying at all. He's He's just saying, if your preference 180 degrees is that you think that men would prefer a woman who consume porn once a month or once a week versus dating somebody who is in porn, then couldn't you understand why the, why the preference in reverse would be the I same? I can one? totally understand that, yeah. Yeah, that's it. so that's... From my own experience. So yeah. you were bothered by a boyfriend you had watching porn and then you decided to go do porn. Yeah. So do you, what, <laughs> Wait, what, what do you think the is psychology... That is, that what, is that what happened? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I was like, I'm trying to analyze the psychology <laughs> okay. here. Like, the psychology of, like, okay, so she was upset that her boyfriend was watching mm. porn, which in her, a, a woman's mind, they might Are feel like sure they're, being, showed him? <laughs> they're being cheated on, right? Like, it felt like a betrayal. Like, Definitely, he's cheating yeah. on you. Right? And then her response then is, were, were you guys broken up when you started doing the porn or were you together when you started doing no, it? No, no, no. We were broken up and okay. then I did it like two months after that, yeah. Do was you think that, that you said your new relationship that... So I met my last partner in the industry, so... Do you think that him watching the porn made you feel like those other girls who were doing the porn were better mm-hmm. and that you wanted to then go do that because he found that more interesting than you? I'm just religious, so I think if you lust like a lot, that it's just kind of like a sin and you should probably just work on that. <laughs> I just, it's, you, you guys hear, get what I'm saying, right? Like, it's kind of interesting here to see that, you know, she then pursued that. It's very ironic. But I don't you... know if it's ironic. It's 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 kind of interesting to understand the psychology of what gets a girl to go down the path of OnlyFans. Money? Yeah, it was well, primarily so money, money, too. I think that there's psychological and emotional reasons Definitely. behind this stuff, too. I also don't have a father. <laughs> okay. Was the money a necessity, um, or was it just something like, oh, I just want added more benefit. money? Yeah, out of benefit. Um, I was, like, living completely on my own in my own apartment, and so I was, like, I had been struggling mentally for, like, quite a few months, I feel like that, so... Right. And it was just kind of like, I don't know, someone messaged me and was like, hey, you want to make uh, $20,000? Yeah, you want to make a bunch of money so you can go buy shit you want? You're like, yeah. And of course, you know, 19-year-old me, I lived on my own. No, I didn't, none of my parents have ever helped me out yeah. financially. We are going to move on. <laughs> uh, just one deal breaker, please, if you can. Uh, one deal breaker in a man. Passivity slash femininity. Passivity slash, what do you mean? Um, just being a big wimp baby, having me to be the man. Um, I think it's gross. I think it's disgusting. I think you should act like an adult, be an adult, care for me. Um, Unless they're loyal. sick. Yeah. Well, of, co- of course. Even yeah. a cold. Even a cold is level 10. Oh, you know yeah. This. No, I know. I know. I, I love I love cooking for him and caring for him and everything. But, yeah. you know, it's it's like a, it's a mutual thing. They'll kill a grizzly bear, but if they have a cold. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all know men like to be babied when they're sick. Mm-hmm. So. I think that's because their body's like completely breaking yes. down from the 10 billion things that they've been overworking right. themselves to do. <laughs> yes. Right. And that's that's what and women are And then they just to can't do. handle it anymore. And yeah. then the wives are like, you're being such a baby. It's like, I'm about to die. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually right. uh, good. Good point. Good point. Uh, one deal breaker. A deal breaker. A I would say. Oh, there's a couple, but I, I would say probably not having a good relationship with God and 
and essentially sure. that's that's up there but as far as like other more personal ones is um, any type of sign of not being loyal or cheating sure things what like about you uh, someone who has vice a vice uh, no, I mean like a pretty is, substantial not like a smoking cigarettes no something that would t make me the mistress and them the wife or the Wait, family like what? like drugs you mean yeah just something that completely like a heroin addict okay Okay. Well, right. just something that would break apart, like okay. dynamic yeah. and safety. Okay. Um, kind In, of like she said, I think somebody that parties too much and too much partying. Okay. Yeah, and then also just no goals in life or like career aspirations. I feel like there are a lot better things that you could be doing with your time. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's unattractive when your partner has no drive. All right, Andrew, uh, a deal breaker for women. Sure, we'll, I, I'll we'll give you. It. I'll give you two easy ones: okay. cruelty to children, and the elderly. Deal breakers, massive Def deal breakers. Deal, yeah, deal breaker. this is yeah. like for anyone, right? Yeah. No, not for anyone. Definitely it's particularly like <clears throat> I think you look at the nurturing or what you consider the, the nature of a woman to be nurturing. You know, you, you find some women who talk shit about kids. You, maybe you don't, but. In these circles, you find them all the time. Antinatalist, people like this, actually mock children, mock what they call breeders, mock what they call women who actually take care of their children, mock motherhood, all right? One of the representations of the view that I have, even though feminists hate my guts, is I feel like I represent real women uh, at, in, in that worldview better than most because <clears throat> ultimately what I see over and over and over again from liberal progressive scumbags and from the uh, liberal atheist mind and from the feminist mind is that they are anti-natalist, they hate children, and they hate the elderly. And they mock them incessantly. Oh, wow. Constantly. All the time, nonstop. I would say those are the two, if I had to really think about it, the two biggest red flags. <coughs> any type of feminist who does any mockery hmm. of actual motherhood, that's the biggest red flag. Hmm. I would run the other direction. Why did All you right. have to start that with feminist before? Doesn't feminist uh -oh. just someone who wants equality between two genders? That's I'm gonna start something mind, crazy. That's where the mindset but stems what from. They, Wait, can you say that one more time? Doesn't so, feminist just mean equality between the two genders? Is, or is that's, that what that means? That's what, it's the definition. In, sure, I'll grant like, the definition. Modern, is that what it means? I'm a, I'm a poli sci student, yes. Sure. In our classes, it means that someone who's Equality at, how? Um, legal equality, um, social equality. So what's social equality? Uh, it, it would require a lot of different determinants. <laughs> like the draft? Would that be social equality? <laughs> Are there any I feminists? I, I just wanted to ask <laughs> Hold on. you. I was asking you and why I'm, you yeah, had I'm, to And I'm giving you an, an, an example. No, you're asking of how, me more questions. Of how, <laughs> well, through the question, it gives you the example of how you can see where feminists in the, the one side of their mouth will say that we want social equality. Now, the other side of their mouth really are not striving for actual social equality. What they're striving for is supremacy female supremacy. And this is why you constantly see the victimhood, uh, and I see it time and time again, of, of what I call Schrodinger's feminists, which is I'm an empowered boss bitch, I'm awesome, and the, but the patriarchy is oppressing me. It's like, well, it can't be both. Either the patriarchy is oppressing you or you're a badass boss bitch, bitch CEO. Like, which one is it? I wouldn't it? say the patriarchy is legally oppressive, but I'd say there are societal norms and standards that impact women on their daily lives. Oh, like that what? That fundamentally impact how they act. Yeah, like what? Knowing that men play chess and women play checkers. Now I'm scared. Now I'm scared to go talk to a man because they play chess. And now I think I'm not good enough. I have imposter syndrome. Maybe that's my fault for not having a dad. Oh. But... Keep going. <laughs> Here's my question yeah. to you. Do you know any feminists that are pro-life? Uh, are feminists pro-life? Personally, I'm sure I, I don't know any no, personally. No, they're, but I'm they're sure there might usually pro-abortion. They're usually for people being able to have abortion. So yeah. when he's saying he's talking about w women that display cruelty towards children and even you know prenatal That's babies in the point. womb. Really? Um, he's, it is relevant to say feminist because we know that the feminists are the loudest about aborting unborn babies. And many of them, I've literally debated on the streets, talk about thinking that it's okay to abort full-term babies. Okay, so, so when you have women, I, I talked to a feminist who literally had babies being eaten by alligator earrings hanging off of her ears and talking about how wonderful it was to abort all these babies. And I think that it's relevant to talk about feminism because those people are the loudest about being able to abort babies. 
I, I don't think that comes from a place of disliking children or holding animosity towards children. I think it's more saying, as a woman, I shouldn't be tied down to this one outcome of raising a family and having it's, a child. Is so that because me, of, is that attack your children? Me, 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 it's all yeah. me, 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 me. It's putting yourself before before the life of a child. But is that because of the fear of having to take on the responsibility of the child alone, as opposed to getting the support from the father? Maybe I, let's say uh, I got pregnant tomorrow. I forgot to take my birth control. Look at me, premarital sex. What me, a me, me. slut. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, but this is I just a theoretical. Mm-hmm. And let's say I, I got pregnant. Y- you guys would all want me to have it. What about I want I want to go to law school. Me. I'm a poli sci major. Me. Okay, but okay. what's wrong but, with having a this is, that's not a this is the point my question. I'm telling view, you. This is the point view. to the red flag. So, what I'm saying is that the the fact that all I heard is me, me, also me. Well, I, a man on, would be able on, to do finish, that and let, not receive any backlash for and it and go to law school you, and finish law school. You want law the school. answer or not? Go for it. So when you go me, me, I, me, 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 I'll kill the kid because then I can get the shit that I want. Yeah. We think of that as being fucking monstrous. We think of it, hang on, we think of it literally akin to a monster. A monster is the What's type normal? of person who would say, I'm gonna do shit that I want, give myself the life that I want, get all the material gains that I want, at the expense of killing children. I literally cannot define a monster better than that. I wish my mom had aborted me. She was a horrible oh. mother. She did not have the what? money. She did not have the now money the to take care of me. Now the truth comes out, doesn't it? No, no, it's not because I'm suicidal, but I just wanted to what? make it. Well, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, really, that's really strange, though. I just you're wanted not. to make a really aggressive point. You wish point. your mom would have aborted you. Can you let me finish my sentences? But you're not, you're not <laughs> wanna, you don't want to unalive yourself. It's so weird. No, no, no. I don't. Okay, but what I'm saying is my mom was not capable financially of raising a child so, at that time and it gave me a way shittier life that I have to deal with every day oh I know me 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 yeah but if she had you know she was old whatever but like if someone who was super young who's not financially responsible yet what? now what if well, your mother what if your you, mother wait, had you but she put you 40 no, what if she had old. you but it put you up for adoption and you were adopted by a very well-off mother and father that Gave you that would have been life. great, but she wasn't going to do that, and she didn't. I'm saying if I was about to have a kid right now, I would have a horrible life. So I think it would be better off for oh. everyone, not to mention the issues with the foster even care if system. You adop- even if you put it I have a friend. I have a friend who's been in the foster Wait, care system. Then why wouldn't system. you just... Un- okay, she got adopted, let me get this right. She did not like it. You don't want to unalive yourself right now, right? <laughs> no. Right now. Well, I mean... Because you have a good life, right? Eh. <laughs> Okay, um, I actually, so I have a question. Well, hang on, let I, me finish the line of inquiry. Do you have a good life Do you want now? to talk to my therapist? And that's why you don't, <laughs> of course you have a therapist, but I'm guessing you don't want to unalive yourself? I mean, I'm here. Oh, that doesn't answer the question. Okay, I didn't mean actually like, I wish I was dead. I was saying, but that's why the abor- that's what that would be. <laughs> in some circumstances, abortion would be better. Yeah, I get it. But in your case, you said, I wish my mother would have aborted me. This is, I wish my mother would have killed me so I wasn't alive today because my childhood was rough. Not just not just that, but yeah, sure. Well, I would else? say that. Can I ask um, you something? Yeah. I, in your example, when you said, because I want to go to law school and if tomorrow I got pregnant, you made the choice to ha- engage in sex, correct? In okay, this, okay. In this hypothetical. But I'm, I was we're saying, just talking about this yeah. theoretical that you set up. But don't you think it's a bit absurd to make the most vulnerable person in that entire dynamic the most responsible for your actions and the actions that you engaged in? The most vulnerable person being the, the baby, the egg that has not even the semen has not even reached it. Well, yet. if you have an abortion, that, <laughs> that means would that would be an abortion. That's not, that's what if I took a morning after pill? What if that's you did? not an abortion. That's not the theoretic. Term. That's not the. But would that be chill vibes with that's, all y'all? That's not. Well, what that's, <laughs> that's not what we're. That's not what we're. That's okay. We're not talking what about you that. Let's grant. Let's grant Kay. all of those. Okay. At what point is the cutoff for you for to what? abort? Oh, I don't know. I'm not. I, I'm no a poli idea. sci major. I'm so not then a who medical. Cares? Right. So then it, it's a distinction with no merit. If you can't tell us when life. So then why did you say If you can't egg? tell us when okay, life when begins. Okay, when the medical people say the heart, whatever is important. I the don't The medical people actual... don't tell you when life begins. They can't. It's an ontological there's, question. There's, a, there's um, something in the law that's been demarcated. Yeah. You know this. when human life is agreed on for beginning by all scientists on what planet is, what Earth? What is that? At conception. 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 By scientists? There's by a, all scientists, there's yes. Take a biology a course spark that of light. Um, that's human life. Yeah. There's the no moment, way around it. The moment of conception <laughs> when the sperm meets the egg, there's literally a flash of light that happens. Um, and can, we get a, can we get a camera can, on that? Can, can, yeah, it's actually, can, it's been documented. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. And what's your name, by the way? Renee. Renee, beautiful name. I'm sorry. I don't know. It's a, it's a I, big pile on. Probably I, moving uh, on here in a second. I just want to say, first of all, I'm glad you're here. Um, I have to say that because I... 
I, I really feel sad that you've said that just now. Um, but my, my question was, you mentioned the financial aspect. Do you think if men took accountability for their actions with the women, both taking accountability, that for the child that they've created, that they've helped create, do you think that more more women would feel the need to do this? Because you mentioned only a financial concern. They don't have concern. choice. They have to take accountability. I well, no, I'm just, just saying. I in didn't the, mean in financially the was the only thing. I also think my parents were just both mentally unfit to have a child at all. Which mm -hmm. I don't want you guys to take that too seriously when I'm like, I wish I was aborted. That's obviously like a talking point. It's obviously a. Was it a talking point? Yeah, it was because. You because can, then you when I followed up like with you, do you want to be alive right now? You're like, nah, well, because uh, <laughs> I'm funny nah. and people in this day and age don't want to live sometimes. I don't know, but what's it called? Um, I mean, that's to sounds, answer her question. Sounds kind of miserable. It's it's a joke. <laughs> to answer her question. Sounds like I, it sounds like cope. I not don't. A joke. I don't mean. My point that I was trying to make was that there are some circumstances where I just think the parents should not be parents at all. Like, it would just be worse for anything that was born. Like, regardless, like, I just think, like, maybe I don't mean, like, I don't want to live at all, but, like, I would have rather been born to a, a million other different parents, and I know that's impossible, and it's sure. a lottery, yeah, but, but what but I'm But I don't understand is, why these are exclusive positions. So you can having, have horrible parents after the baby is born, and he, you know what happens if there's horrible parents? Kid gets taken out and placed with another family. Right. Same not exact always. thing that she just suggested. <laughs> yeah, Sometimes it's like that's just bad. But here's the yeah, thing: you can't always, always you can't put good. an always on it. It's like saying, "Well, we shouldn't outlaw murder because there's always going to be some murders." Yeah, there are. There's nothing you can do to, to mitigate so one hundred percent everything. That's not relativism. <laughs> it's the opposite of relativism. It's not even pragmatism. It's recognizing objective reality. That sure, even if you outlaw murder, there's still going to be murders. But these are not exclusive positions. I understand saying, well, you can have bad parents. Yeah, that's true. What does that have to do with aborting children? Maybe some parents know that they were they would be bad they parents at the time. They don't have to keep the child. The they why wouldn't the they child be, for adoption? Why wouldn't, why wouldn't the, the, the foster system, care system is no, awful. No, adoption sorry. is well, not the same as not, the foster, it's not foster care. care. Why, okay, why are maybe people, they don't want anyone that, why, know, why are people who are not prepared to take the consequences of their actions having sex to begin with? Because then you are blaming the child for the consequences of your actions like... Um, the miss over there said that you're putting the full onus of the consequence on that unborn baby because you chose to be irresponsible. That is a reactionary response. And I, I would say that a man is just as dangerous as a woman who decides to abort the child. Um, but it in no way would benefit you to even be with somebody, a man especially, who tells you, yeah, I want to kill my own child. That man can't be trusted to take care of you either. So in what way, for what reason, is, does it make sense to punish a child because you choose to be irresponsible in your own day-to-day -day life and that man? That is the most feminine thing I could Maybe even Maybe you're not punishing of. the child, you're saving the child. By murdering it. Yes, by the life it would yes. have had if it was yes. born. Wait, what? You're saving it from the life it would have had if it was born. <laughs> how, how benevolent of you. Yes, That's why the it. So yeah. where's Now the this is why the benevolent <laughs> patriarchy <laughs> must exist. Because if we left it to people like you, you say, you know, the most benevolent thing we could do is fucking kill you. That's that's what that's literally your line of if logic. If there were here. better like welfare societal systems in place, maybe. Mm -hmm. How about responsible for, men? For oh, children? it's just that we don't have enough welfare. Yeah. Which which demographic would you thought <laughs> if you had to think about it takes up a huge majority of welfare funds? Single mothers. Oh, I, th I thought we just didn't have enough of a welfare system, but they're getting tons of cash from the welfare system. What the fuck are you talking about? Didn't the welfare system actually incentivize the de yeah. de degradation of the family Especially unit? in particular communities, yes. Yeah. Grip well. One Motorsports donated $200. I cannot think of anything less worthy of joking the about the tending unborn life. We cannot choose our parents, but we can choose our path. Feminism has failed you. The patriarchy is here to help. I feel enlightened. Uh, yo, Grid One, good to see you in the, the chat, man. Thank patriarchy. you very much. Uh, while we have that in, we do have a couple other chats. Let me just get through the chats and then we'll continue on with uh, some of the convo here. So, uh, Grid One, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. We have Pico. Uh, B, love to see Andrew on. Ladies, if on OF and want to move on, start developing other skills now. You can make millions later if you start now. Sex is the easiest way to do it, but it's not good long term. Okay, thank you, uh, Pico. Appreciate it, man. True. We have Rose. Rose coming in. 
The blonde info war wars is preaching sky daddy <laughs> principles to the locusts from the pit, casting pearls to swine. I will restore the years the locusts have eaten. The book of Joel is great. Do you have a quick response? Um, I would say that. Um, oh. I would say that. Big Sass Energy donated two hundred dollars. Oh, Big Sass Energy. Any other girl in any other country would be so happy to be in this girl's shoes. The fact this girl thinks it preferable to be aborted shows the level of ungratefulness despite a difficult upbringing. I would well, do, do, do she'll, wanna... she'll worry she's going to talk okay. to her therapist about Hold on, it. But do you want to respond okay. to that really quick? Yeah, um, maybe I am a little ungrateful to my parents because they had me at a time. And in general, I just say I'm ungrateful to my parents. They shouldn't have had me. But that doesn't mean I'm ungrateful for where I am. I still am very happy with my circumstances. Well, then the they should have had you. Okay, yeah, I get what you mean. I that get makes what no you, sense. Okay, it's illogical. I, I understand the argument that you're making. Okay, you ended up fine. Look at you. You're fine. You ended up great. You're happy. But the thing is that that didn't need to happen. That didn't. I didn't need to go through all well, the things. What that, needs to happen? Like I could have been happy anyways with like a normal set of circumstances, and that wasn't even like the. If main you're talking point about need, argument. though, think about what you're saying. If you're talking about need. It also doesn't need to happen that you abort a child. That doesn't need to happen. So when you, you use an example of need, right, this is like some type of imperative. This does not need to happen. Nothing needs to happen, right? Yeah. But the, the point, so the point, I don't even know how that's a point in your favor to say it didn't need to happen. So what? So what if it didn't need to happen? Okay, you also, maybe, okay, aborting a kid say, doesn't need to happen. Maybe I can say that all of that rough shit made for better character development in my life, but like, Fundamentally, wouldn't you agree that, like, if a couple is, like, about to have a child, you would probably tell them no. Okay, maybe you don't want the abortion to happen because that's just so evil, but you'd probably tell them no if they're in really shitty financial, emotional circumstances beforehand. That's kind you of a eugenics that's, perspective. That would be... So, I wouldn't so what say you're that's saying, a eugenics How is that not? It's, if it's you're bizarre. saying people who are financially suitable yeah. should only be the ones to have children, yeah. so people in poverty should no, have No, 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 no. You can... Like, I'm saying... I'm saying... They, I get, I get what you're saying. People should be able to have the choice if they know that they're going to not be able to Let me be as charitable as I can Your arguments you. keep coming back to finances, and that's why I said at the end of the day, if yeah. men were accountable for their actions as, as yes, well as the women, argument, yeah. but, and they took still. accountability <laughs> for their children, and they protected and provided for the woman and child, and you were able to continue to live your life unimpeded, then what would be your argument for abortion? Because the main thing that you continuously come back to is finances. So if the men were taking care of you and you were both responsible, then what's the issue? I have a question. I know you want to like hang on, hang on. Let, let one one question really at quick, a time no. so she can respond. Though. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, you you wanted to be no, charitable, she, right? Yeah, I was just well, I was just saying. Now I'm doing it. I was just <laughs> saying to be as charitable to your view as possible, which is I think that this is just your argument. If two people came to you and said, we're thinking about having a child, but we're in all sorts of rough shape financially. Big Sass Energy donated $200. <laughs> You're more so than good. fine. You live in the greatest country in the greatest time in the history of the world. Travel to other countries. Get some goddamn perspective. Yeah, I know. I'm chilling. I'm just saying. So like, um... anyway, you're just saying, <laughs> would you advise them to, you know, maybe wait to have children? Yeah. Sometimes, but sometimes not. What if we took their age into account? We're like, okay, she's 33, he's 32. Then I wouldn't advise it. I'd be like, well, maybe things would be a little rough. But yeah, you probably should have them now if you're going to have them. But if you're talking about 21, 22 years old, sure, you might say, hey, guys, you could wait a couple of years till you, know, you have your feet under the ground a little bit better. Nobody's adverse to any of that. And it's not an argument in your favor for killing kids. Even if we grant the entire worldview, how in the world does it help you with your argument of taking out the kid? I don't you're get it. You're not killing a kid. You're preventing it from being born. That's oh. my view. So, so I know that's not y'all's view. So let me, let, me just, let me just make sure I get this confession. right. Scott Peterson viciously murders his wife, kills unborn baby, right? Goes to prison for her du double homicides. You'd let him off on the one homicide, right? Because unborn baby. <laughs> what? Oh, one yeah. homicide instead of double homicide? Yeah, sure. You would, you would, you would exempt getting, him from the one homicide. They're getting a life sentence anyway. Yes. Okay. He's only. Let's say he's only going to get fifteen years. Okay. Then. I'd what age do you think? I just want to make sure I'm ever clear. Hang on. Let me finish. Almost done. That it is in the law. <laughs> well, almost done. I just want to finish okay, this. Okay. So twenty-four. Almost done. Weeks. Yeah. Just want to be clear. Nine month pregnant, stabbed in the stomach. Okay. Then that one's double homicide. If it's past the legal. 
What's thing. the what 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 the, if what if the legal what if the legal months. thing I don't is eight know. months? I don't know the law like what if that? it's I'm eight? Sorry. What if it's eight? That's why <laughs> don't muddy the water here for just a second. Let's say it's eight months. Let's say eight months. They say you can legally do it. Let's just say you can legally do it up to nine months. There's legislation in places okay. for that. No. Well, no. Well, then when? Uh, twenty-four weeks. Okay, so twenty-four weeks. It's twenty-four weeks in a day. Then it's a double homicide. But it's twenty-three weeks. Nope. Then then he gets away with it. That's how it is with every law. Really? What, or yeah. Really? Okay, but you're make the point that you just tried to make uh -huh. is how every law has to be interpreted like strictly. Yes, it would be single homicide before and double no, homicide after. No, laws are after. interpreted on okay, a case but, by case, but that aside, even assuming we were charitable to that, if you can't tell us when life even begins, how the fuck should we care about your opinion on abortion anyway? I just said 24 weeks. Because she told you that. <laughs> but no. you couldn't tell us why it starts at 24 weeks. I didn't say that's when life I began. You, you okay. guys told me yeah, it was no, at conception, conception with the light explosion. Yeah. Uh, I, I did not say that life yeah, began why, at 24 weeks. This is why, is why when, you get too many, when you get too many you know, heads in the cookie jar with one conversation it becomes this. I'm just saying, if we look at it, you would say that that guy should get exempted from one of the murders. If he kills unborn unborn kid, I just want to, I just want to hear you say it. This is such a this has this is not helping your point at all. Well, then My just go ahead and concede to the point. A woman should be able to end a child before twenty four weeks if she's not ready. Yeah, why twenty four weeks? To have weeks? a child, because that's what the scientists say. Is oh, which ones? About social. The ones you just made up. You didn't know when life began. Two which minutes ones are ago. they? Which ones are they? Two minutes ago, the scientists that say you that. didn't know. Anything about you're, the you're, science you're of abortion? You're scarecrowing. You're scarecrowing right now. Or no? What? What's the fallacy? It's straw, the one where you're attacking straw, straw man. Yeah. What's straw the straw man? man? You're attacking my character for not knowing the scientific start date not of when. No, a baby no, no. I'm attacking your direct position that you said I don't know no, when not. this begins. Did you not say no, that? No, you're not. You're attacking the fact that is I it, don't know. So okay. You're trying to make wait me wait look. Like you literally like I just said I don't know. So then that's your position. How's that a straw man? What? No, I said. 20, now I'm saying 24 weeks. You were saying, yeah, why should we trust you okay, when you don't fine. know the actual based scientific on, date? That's based on man. Based on 24 weeks, right? You say 24 weeks. Why does life begin in 24 weeks? I couldn't tell you. Yeah. So then what the fuck are you talking about? I'm straw manning you. Okay. Well, uh, uh, you have to do the research yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. If you took a biology class, don't they say that basically life starts at fertilization? No. It starts and at the last time I took a bio class was my sophomore year of high school. But I mean, that's not what the, the argument is. I do have to move things on. I do have to move things 